This is the data stack that I use. It comes with a little cheat sheet to tell you everything that you need and which blades to use to get what size of cut. So I do a lot of cuts at 13, 16. So that takes blade A, blade B, all three chippers and all three spacers. Put blade A in, label facing to the left, and then I set blade B aside because that's gonna go in after everything else. And then on this side you have your chippers. So it comes with three chippers. And then you have your spacers and your shims in here. So what I normally do is I will add a shim just to get it a little, if you don't, it's just a little too snug for my liking for what I'm doing. But uh, I would always do a test piece before you do it on your actual finished piece. So I go blade A, spacer, chipper, spacer, chipper, spacer, chipper, and then I'll throw the shim on. And then logo out. I think it's going to be a little hard to see it, but you want to make sure that all of your chippers are not butted up to your blade. So you're going to want them to be in the middle as much as you can. Let me know if that all made sense and if you have any other questions.